Morning, friends. Happy Sabbath. Glad to be with you to this day on this Sabbath day at the end of a busy week and as we move forward to what's probably a busy week ahead. But as we pray today, I'm going to offer a prayer about truth as a follow-up to yesterday's prayer about speech. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, as we gather in prayer this morning, we pray for ourselves and our neighbors in the world. We begin with prayers of thankfulness for all that we have received and for all the blessings in our lives. Yesterday we prayed about speech. Today we pray about truth. We recognize they should go together. Josh Billings said, the best time for you to hold your tongue is the time you feel you must say something or bust. And also he said that as scarce as truth is, the supply has always been in excess of the demand. Dear Lord, we recognize that there is often great manipulation of the truth, claims that we, that what we know based upon science and objective fact are not the truth, claims that what is clearly before our eyes is not what we are seeing. God, help us to understand that truth can be found in how words are spoken. Help us to understand that truth can be found in comparison of statements to the statements of others. Help us to understand that regardless of what people may want you to believe, that the truth is the truth. The author Vera Nazarian said, Yawns are not the only infectious things out there beside germs. Giggles can spread from person to person. So can blushing. But maybe the most powerful infectious thing is the act of speaking the truth. Lord, help us and others to speak infectious truths. Help us to accept that once we hear the truth, that we should live based upon the truth. Help us to see that truth always and help us to turn away from what is clearly not the truth. But help us to know that what is called a lie clearly may not be, especially when, in that, when evaluated in the light of objective facts, not self-serving rhetoric. Amen. Our reading for today comes from the 51st Psalm, text about truth. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy. Blot, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight so that you are justified in your sentence and blameless when you pass judgment. Indeed, I was born guilty, a sinner, when my mother conceived me. You desire truth in the inward being, therefore teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have crushed rejoice, hide your face from my sins, and blot out my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.